Pisces, did you feel that? Was it a kick? Something deep in your belly or subconscious seems to be growing quickly. This isn't something that happened by accident. This was certainly something that you intended to happen along with the universe, source, God intended to happen as well. At this time, there is something, I'm getting the message, coming forward from your subconscious that has been taking time to grow. This could be a physical thing. Maybe you have a baby growing inside of you. Whatever the case may be, very strongly, the message of fertility is coming through today for you guys, okay? At this time, Pisces. Hello, beautiful souls, my Pisces friends. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. And hey, welcome to my table. If you guys are new here, my name is Zachary. It's good to meet you and or see you. If you're returning, hey, thanks for coming back, you guys. Thank you for your support and love as always. Pull up a chair. Everybody, pull up a chair. So I'm actually uh, very excited to get into this message because I almost said meeting. Maybe somebody's meeting somebody, but um, very, very strongly fertility is coming through. I will go over messages through meditation here. A couple oracle cards were pulled, pulled and then we'll get into the tarot. I was also drawn back to a symbol that was channeled for Leo back in June, um, which you guessed it, you guys, has to do with fertility. Um, I'll actually start here, okay? It's titled Dynamic Fertility. So I was just shown this symbol as I was meditating for you guys to go back to this. So I'll show the camera here if you want to pause it. You can draw this out to use its magic. This is titled Dynamic Fertility. So what do we do with this? The instructions for this in particular, you can put this wherever you want um, that you're going to be able to see it. To uh, just watch were, were, was the instructions, to behold this symbol here. So anywhere you feel comfortable, you want to put that to be able to see, see the symbol, to remember that you do have, in fact, something is growing in the darkness where air it is growing. Uh, this is a very good thing, though, you guys. Like I said, this is something that you've put effort into. This didn't happen by accident. It's something that you've been wanting and working towards. Um, so, yes, feel free to draw this out. The purpose of this is to give additional care, retention, energy, creation energy to your creation, whatever it is that you want to create. This adds an extra oomph in all areas where you do desire growth. Okay. Yay. I love that to start. Okay. And then um, the remainder of the message that came through here, I was told, uh, well, silk, silk and skill came through together. And as I was sitting on that, I'm like, silky skill, what is, you know, what's going on here? I started to boil down the message of um, perfection, of um, like a pursuit of mastery, a skill that's gotten to a point where to anyone else, it would look like oh, magic, like it was nothing. You made it look so smooth that uh, it looked easy, right? So I feel that I am kind of drawn back to a Pisces reading that I did last year. It might have been, it might have even been your yearly. Anyhow, there has been this message of mastery that's kind of woven its way through your readings um, as we've gone on here. It'll be actually a year, you guys, next month for me, October 6th, since I have started this channel. So uh, keep your keep your eyes out or ears open. I am going to give away a free reading to celebrate just to give back um, all the love that you guys have also given to me. OK, so welcome. Good time. Yes, mastering a skill. Um, Oh, this was okay. Yeah, I forgot this part here. I wrote it off to the side. Spirit's like, look up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, just before getting into this message today and filming, I, I always go back and check like, you know, is there anything I missed? And anything else, Spirit? And I was shown a wooden, how do I describe this? It was like a, it was an angel, but made out of wood. Very, I don't even want to say like cartoony, but that kind of cutesy, craftsy look. Um, I grew up LDS Mormon, and to me, it's very reminiscent of uh, any of the craft project. Like there's a certain kind of aesthetic or look to those sorts of craft projects. So um, it felt very much like this is this is specifically for somebody 
a symbol. It, it felt like it was from someone, okay? A grandma, a mother, felt very feminine kind of energy. I feel like someone was just trying to say hello. So if that resonates with you, um, I don't know. I don't know who that's for, but that did come through. So moving into Oracle messages for you guys. Two cards did come out in the Blue Angel Oracle. And uh, yeah, you guessed it. They both have to do with, well, fertility and creation. <laughs> I love this, you guys. As soon as I pulled these um, after doing the meditation, I was like, I was so excited to get into this just to have such congruency in the message so far. So creation, we'll start here. Poetics of light. Creation, this is, this is the card that's talking about something in your subconscious has been forming has been taking time to develop. And this isn't on accident. This is very intentional. Do you feel that kick? <laughs> it may not be something that you can physically feel quite yet, but this very much feels like a presence. Like I said, this was intentional. You've had to put work into this, develop skill to get that silky smooth skill. This didn't just happen by accident. Um, fertility coming in here next. So this card talks about something growing. There may be a physical, a literal physical birth of some sort, or this is a spiritual birth. Regardless, something that has been growing in the dark, just like creation here. Something has been growing in the dark and soon will be brought into this realm. There's a request here, a reminder also to, um, to well, to first of all, recognize that you are on fertile ground that the soil that you walk at this time is very fertile and to also give gratitude for that, for that uh, promenade through fertile earth. Okay. I love this. All right, let's get a little bit further into this. So we're going to do a wild unknown animal Oracle card here for you for Pisces, please spirit additional messages. It looks like you got two. Um, the gazelle and the zebra. Zebra. So um, I'm actually going to open this up here for Gazelle. I'm feeling called to open the book. But with, um, with Zebra, so there is uh, creativity is a part of the Zebra. Being eccentric. Uh, I feel with the Zebra coming through, first of all, there is this message of like, don't to not be afraid to be eccentric. What somebody may think is eccentric. Eccentric in and of itself is not a positive or negative term, right? I mean, I guess it is coming from a place of uh, excess. It is, a, it is a judgmental word to a degree. This does not feel like it's a judgment. Shoot for the moon kind of thing. Like, don't be afraid to think too big or to create too big here. Mm. Cool. And the gazelle. Heightened awareness and ability vulnerable. So um, yin yoga, a cozy home and good, good food. Very Taurus energy here to bring this into balance. I feel like um, this energy here is connected to protection, like whatever this is that is developing here and this is different for everybody you guys there could be a, a physical birth like i said maybe there's a baby on the way uh maybe this is a spiritual baby maybe you're uh starting a business maybe you wrote a book there's something that you've been putting time into creating this energy is that of uh protecting that which is growing okay this this is not needing to mm, interesting okay with the eccentricity this is making more sense now this may have been an overdrive or an appropriate amount as you've been growing, whatever this is, to, to keep this very safe. Well, the message that's coming through, though, is to get ready to allow this to be birthed, to birth this bitch, right? <laughs> Which is going to include releasing as much control as you had over keeping this safe. Not that you're going to, you know, not still keep whatever this is safe. This is just saying that this is transitioning is moving into a time of releasing the reins a little bit, allowing what it is that your creation is to be birthed, to, to come alive, to experience life. Okay. Yay. All right. Let's go ahead and get into your tarot messages here. 
So I did get um, a new deck today. I'm going to use this today. This is a very, very cool deck. I like it. Um, Curious Travels Tarot is is what this is. Oh, I split right to the Hierophant. I was just looking at the book. <laughs> and it has the Hierophant on there. Hey, hey, hey. So Spiritual Evolution. Um, I do feel I do feel this is talking more about bringing... Let me put that... Like bringing components of yourself together through, like a, if you want to look at like a counseling effect, two portions of yourself are more aligning with a higher ideal, making the connection between the divine realms and the physical realm. Interesting. Okay. Thank you, spirit. Um, so what do we have here for Pisces, please, spirit? There's the lovers there too. Hey. Bringing two things, masculine, feminine, bringing things into balance. Whatever this is that you are birthing, it feels like this came from, like, whether it's a physical child to have the chromosomes, you know, doing what they do from the parents to come together. Or if this is more of a spiritual, ooh. Okay, all right. Oh, the Traveler's interesting. This is a card that's specific to this deck here. This symbolizes forward movement. Whatever this is that you've been working to birth or create that's been forming, I feel like this has been a restrictive feeling anyway as this is growing. I can't do anything else. I have to watch this or it's not going to grow kind of thing is what I'm getting. This release of tension, stress, fear, even hopes, everything surrounding the unknown towards whatever this is you're creating. A release coming forward with that cool all right um huge shout out to my channel members of course you guys hello hello if you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself there's a link in the description of this video there's also a join button right next to the subscribe you can hit subscribe if you haven't already and i do have personal readings open and available you can check out my website there's a link in the description of this video the fool yay this is your hope here so um, these cards have, I don't know if you can see, but it's got kind of like gold foil on these. They're cool. They're cool. So the Fool, this is your new journey. You're hoping for something new. Like I said, I feel like something has been taking up your time. And for some of you, whatever this is you're creating, for some of you, I feel like you're kind of at a point of giving up even. Like that's enough. I have put, that is quite enough. <laughs> I have put more than enough time and energy into something. What I'm kind of getting from that, um, like you're hoping to start a new journey here or you're hoping to fall into faith that what it is that is growing is growing. Maybe you can't fully see that or feel that right now. If not, let this be a confirmation for you as all tarot messages should be, okay? If you're already getting that feeling or you've been asking for a response here, it, hey, is that thing that I'm working on even growing? Yes, it is. In fact, it's coming to a point where it's time to birth this bitch, okay? All right, I'm excited for you guys. Let's go ahead and grab the second deck here. Crow Tarot is what we're going to be using, what we are using presently. <laughs> uh, what do we have here for Pisces, please, spirit? Pisces, Pisces. And um, this is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. Use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher if the message is for you. And if it's not, toss it out. Drop it like it's hot. You don't need it. It's okay. Check out any other major placements in your chart um, or any all signs. We do have all signs in our chart. just depends on which house. If you want a bit more information on what's going on for you at this time. 14, 14 on the timer there as well. So Ace of Swords here at the bottom being your fear, fear, aversion, anxiety. Um, so Ace of Swords symbolize the truth, a, a new idea. I feel like there is this experience towards whatever this is that has been growing. And this could be even a thought like um, that's interesting. What's coming to mind is like writing a book, being an author. Like I want to I want to be an author putting energy and thought into that experience is growing that experience. Even before you start taking physical action 
in the third dimension here, you are growing that by putting care, attention towards that thought. So even if you haven't physically, at some point, things will need to happen physically. But even if you haven't got to that point yet, because I feel like some of you are there in the pre-planning phases of like, this is what I want to do. You know, this is what I'm creating behind the scenes. Now it's time to take it to the next level. The energy, it like it's taking itself to the next level. Okay. The cells, they are dividing. <laughs> you will have a baby soon. Up to, you know, some of you guys, like I said, you're, maybe you're very well aware of what it is that you have been growing. A literal child. Okay, let's get into it. So general energy here to start. You have three of pentacles. So success in working with others. Recognition as well. I feel that for those of you that know what it is that you're birthing here, this creation, this is creating with others too, success. <laughs> um, I feel that there are a good deal of you that this involves working with other people, creating something together. Well, I mean, even if, if this is a, a human child, right? You wouldn't have done it on your own. <laughs> um, you would have had to work, work well with others, right? Or at least paid the right price. <laughs> um, I feel like for those of you that are st stuck, I don't like the word stuck. For those of you that are pausing, in this pre-planning phase, maybe you're just considering writing that book, like I said. Uh, I feel that there are people, there are opportunities that will be coming forward for you to make connections, to help drive this project or whatever it is that you want to create into reality. There's a request to recognize that though. Like attracting like. Resonance, of course. I mean, we, we attract resonant frequencies what i'm feeling is is recognizing these helpers these people that are beneficial and helping you grow whatever this is there is a something that is similar energy signature wise you may recognize it that way maybe as silly as it sounds like a similar favorite number or color that's kind of what i'm getting is like um you you may know this person this may be a new person coming through but you're going to recognize them by something that's similar to you cool awesome <laughs> i do love my job so two of cups comes in here to clarify this this is partnership you guys partnership connection it can symbolize a romantic relationship that could be, you know, coming forward for you guys and always, right? I do feel more uh, kind of business partnerships, not necessarily business in particular, but whatever this is that you're creating in the subconscious working to bring into the physical realm is not, uh, I mean, maybe it's a romantic relationship for some of you, but this feels more like a, a task partner. I guess we'll put it that way. It doesn't have to be business because this could be a non-financial pursuit. It could be many different things, right? Oh, I love this, you guys. So there is a request to be willing to work with others. And, it, and very strongly with both these coming through, three of pentacles and then two of cups there. <laughs> Partnership is being highlighted strongly. Uh, where did that go? Here we go. Can I get a little more information on the general here, please, for Pisces? Any advice on this connection, this person? Apology. Hmm. Forgiveness through mutual understandings. Interesting intriguing i feel like an expansion pursue bigger and greater endeavors for someone here it does feel like there was a a burn <laughs> maybe you've already tried to work with somebody in what it is that you're working to create here and it didn't go well maybe uh i do what is standing out here is the lion here on top of the caduceus which can symbolize arrogance in somebody to watch out for that so maybe there could have been you could have been somebody else in a situation that just brought the wrong flavor <laughs> and it's left a bad taste in your mouth that's kind of what i'm getting so 
Not that there is necessarily an apology that needs to happen. For some of you, there may be. This feels more like extending grace for the greater experience once more, if that makes sense. Putting yourself back out there. Allowing yourself to try whatever again to make yourself maybe not completely transparent or vulnerable, but vulnerable enough to build the connection that you require to help bring this into this dimension. Okay, cool. So good stuff for you at this time. Queen of Wands. Um, I, and I haven't seen all of these cards yet, you guys, but this artwork, I just love it. Going Gaga for <laughs> Curious Travels Tarot. So uh, Queen of Wands here, this is, especially being your good stuff, love this. This is you stepping into this mode of feeling confident, of feeling strong in your skin, okay? Stepping into your authenticity. So dovetailing off of what I was saying there, if this is you, where you felt you're feeling jaded or felt jaded, you're still working through um, something that was upsetting or tra traumatizing and working with someone else. You are getting back into a place because you're being supported and you're taking the time and energy and effort to make this so, stepping into your confident, badass self. I love this, you guys. <laughs> this is also, um, there's an encouragement. Yeah, there's the black cat right there. She's got a black cat and the black cat in tarot is bad luck. Um, they are the shadow, it's the shadow form of Venus, okay? So the antithesis of connection, right? She doesn't give a shit. She has a cat right in her lap anyway. And that's the whole point. Looking fear in the face and saying, I don't give a shit. <laughs> like that pink song, right? I just don't care. You're pursuing what it is that you want to pursue because you, you feel it in your bones. This is what you were designed to create or you wanted to come here to create. And you're not going to take shit from nobody at this point over it. <laughs> Knight of Swords comes in to clarify this. I feel that as soon as you step into this energy of the Queen of Wands here, allow yourself to be fully enveloped by your own confidence and authenticity. Letting that freak flag fly, maybe. Really feeling your own weirdo vibes, okay? Because <laughs> that's where we really start to step into our own self-love, and that starts to emanate outside of us. But once you step into this, um, it's time, it's time to birth. <laughs> it's time to birth this. Okay. Um, things happen quickly. It's the Knight of swords. This is moving thought into action as well. So both counts stepping into your authenticity and confidence, feeling, feeling yourself here in this situation allows you to release whatever is holding back this energy from coming into fruition. Okay. Oh, I love this. Anything else here on the good stuff for Pisces? Yay, Pisces! <laughs> I'm a Pisces North Node, so um, I'll be I'll be interested to go back and see this too. Lovers here at the bottom, a passionate connection, shared vision, and value in your good stuff. Um, <laughs> manifestation, law of attraction, thoughts become things. So, like I was just saying there, as soon as you step into this authentic, authentic portion of yourself. And what I'm hearing is, what, is that, what does that mean? What does that look like? Um, when you get to a point of discontinuing, when you discontinue the doubt towards yourself, these questions or dialogues that are happening that are saying you aren't enough, you don't belong here, um, you're too different, et cetera, et cetera. You're the wrong gender, you're the wrong skin color, you're the wrong height, whatever. When we can look at or listen to those voices and give them a hug and the finger, <laughs> that is when we're stepping into our authentic and confident self. To be human means those voices will never disappear. But the way that we converse with those most certainly has the ability to change. And that's what this is talking about. That silky skill. Ooh, I just got all the chills on that. <laughs> like wiping your ass with silk, okay? <laughs> Taking all of those things that you consider to be problems and instead adding, um, well, a note of luxury to it. 
accentuating it, appreciating it. Ooh, I love that. Okay, all right, let's keep going. <laughs> I love this reading for you guys. Um, so what's in the dark? What you don't see coming here? <laughs> maybe maybe some of you don't know you're pregnant. I was kind of saying... <laughs> I was kind of saying like this would be intentional, right? This isn't something more in the subconscious. This is something you've been working towards. Man, I mean, sometimes we do get pregnant, um, not necessarily on accident, but um, unconsciously, perhaps. Nine of Cups is what comes through here. What's in the dark? What you don't see coming. Nine of Cups is a wish fulfilled. Um, hold that up there longer so you can see it. These cards, you guys, that foil. <laughs> um, wish fulfilled, D like your heart's deepest desire. It can also symbolize childbirth, <laughs> the nine months that it takes to cook a child, okay? <laughs> that bun in the oven. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. So I feel that I don't know, somebody, if you're having a hunch, um, you know, go get tested, right? Go get, go test yourself. <laughs> I do feel like somebody may have a, a literal pregnancy, a, a baby, a baby on the way. <laughs> oh, yay. I love this reading, you guys. I was going to do a, um, what is the word? Joint universal collective. <laughs> you know, a joint reading. I was going to do a collective reading here for the eclipses. We've got the eclipse on the second here, the solar eclipse. Um, but I just felt called to do this one first. And I'm glad that I did because it's, yeah, it feels good. It's a happy feeling. That one will still be coming out here soon. So don't worry. But uh, the lovers, you guys, is what came in to clarify the nine of cups. What you don't see coming or what's hidden, what's in the dark here. Um, with the Three of Pentacles and Two of Cups here being in your general, there is love here for someone, romantic love for someone, a partner of some sort coming through. Could be business, turned love, you know what I mean? Turned romantic. Could be the other way around, I don't know. Could be all at the same time, who knows? But with this coming through, it does, it does smack of relationship, okay? This is also being at a crossroads, a need to make the decision to do what it is you want to do versus what it is others are telling you to do or what it is that you think it is you have to do. So being in the dark here, what you don't realize is you've got a choice always. You always have a choice. Okay. I feel like there is more that could be said on certain things, but I don't feel like wading those waters right now <laughs> when it comes to babies and political things like that. I'm, I'm, but that is, that is something that's coming through. We always have a choice. Okay. You guys, we always have a choice and there may be somebody that needs to make a decision. Okay. This is your choice. I just feel that's important to say, okay. It's your choice. Can we get some more information here? Any advice on what's hidden when it's in the dark? But it feels like love, you guys. It feels like love for, for someone. Strength, determination, perseverance, and self-discovery. Yeah. And then sacrifice, giving up something now for a future reward. Interesting. Again, um, I don't, I feel like I don't want to go too far into that. If this is resonating with you, it's resonating with you. I feel, again, it's just important to say we are sovereign entities here and you do get to make your own decisions. Okay. I love you, Pisces. So the uh, difficulty at this time, your challenge, <laughs> damn, <laughs> uh, Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is your challenge. So rock bottom, betrayal. Um a loss of abundance is something that's actually coming through here. So whatever this is that you're working to develop here, there may have been some painful endings before they began, okay? Whether this is a physical child, whether it is a business, a book, whatever it is that you're working to create, I get this uh, crunchy feeling towards starting it, okay? Feeling shot down many different times. So the difficulty right now is getting back up seeing this through one more time because it only takes that one last time until we break through, right? Do we know when that's going to be? Maybe not always necessarily, 
but this is why it's important to not give up while we're here. If you're still breathing, if you're still, you know, conscious, then there's still a chance for whatever it is that you want to create. This is hard to leave behind, though, because it hurts. It's lingering in your consciousness. And there is a decision that needs to be made to move away from it intentionally. That may be hard for you um, to make the decision consci consciously. Maybe you're still grieving something. Maybe there's still pain that's attached to, or you're still working through pain. That doesn't need to end. That process of grief or healing doesn't need to end, doesn't really ever end before making the decision that you don't want to stew in this, to have a ten of swords stew, okay? All pain, no gain here. We're going to move back to the ace of swords and deal with those difficult thoughts that are connected to the ten of swords that keep us addicted there because we're worth it. Why? Because you're worth it. <laughs> That's why. Okay, Pisces? So uh, four of wands. Ooh, four of wands comes in here to clarify with the ten of swords, your difficulty. This is crossing a major threshold. So I, I'm going to double down on that, okay, you guys? Whatever false starts or uh, broken, broken promises, I'm hearing broken starts, whatever pain is connected to these attempts you've made, before it, it was to cross a major threshold to grow whatever this is that you have been working to grow i'm hearing um it's interesting for someone it's not the right time like the question that i'm getting coming through is um like why couldn't i cross that threshold earlier what was the preventing me from doing that timing is what's coming through on that. Can symbolize a wedding too, okay? The Four of Wands. Could be um, a marriage that came to an end. Maybe there were kids involved in that situation. You know what I'm saying? That, I feel that applies to somebody, but not everybody is this uh, physical child. Um, yeah, there was some, there's something about timing. I feel like I want a little more on that, please, Spirit. What about the timing? What is it with the timing here for Pisces in their challenge? The Emperor. Interesting. Queen of Cups here at the bottom too. Um, intuitive, healing, nurturing, protecting the emotions as well, possibly overprotecting or not protecting enough. The emperor is what comes in to clarify this. So we're talking about timing. First of all, um, both four, both number four here, four of wands and um, four, the emperor. I get for someone, this was, um, if this was a relationship and you were looking to, whether it was a physical child, start a business, whatever, the person that you were in a relationship with at the time was not the best player to make this happen. 33, 33 on the timer. <laughs> um, this can symbolize the divine masculine. It is also a divine counterpart. So this makes, with the four of wands, this makes me feel like this was somebody, you were in a relationship with somebody that you felt destined to be with. Whether or not that is true, um, the contract, I feel, did not extend to whatever it was you were working to create with this individual which is why it, it resulted in pain and loss, okay? Okay, any other advice here on difficulty? For Pisces, please, Spirit. Moving on, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, yep. <laughs> Damn, I think this is right on. Past life connection, someone with heavy influence from a past life is with you. So whoever this emperor was, could have been an abuse of power, control, uh, moving on. Endings that bring healthy beginnings. There's that Ten of Swords. The only thing to do with this pain is to move on. Just to move on from it. Deception, false illusions, scarcity mentality, and falling into bad habits. Whoever, whether this is a an actual person or if this symbolizes a component of yourself, your own power, 
it feels that there was an abuse of power in some way towards yourself or from somebody else. That's where the deception's coming through here. Bad habits is something that's sticking out to me. To not give up on yourself, to not slide back into addictions potentially when the going gets tough, okay? And the going do get tough, I get it. I'm a human being too, I, I truly do get it. This is just a, an encouragement at this time though to pay extra attention to, maybe you don't know where the difficulty is coming from. It feels like it is a connection to a relationship from the past or an archetype or behavior within yourself from the past that caused you or others harm, okay? All right, let's pull, which deck do you wanna do? A crow, all right, we'll do the urban crow here. One last Oracle card here to close out your reading, Pisces. And then I'm gonna, I'm a, I'm a gonna, I'm a gonna move on into the extended reading. If you guys wanna join me there, there will be links in the description of this video. We're gonna go over direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and what is most likely being manifested for you ba based on your thoughts and emotions. Uh, <laughs> memory here at the split. Yeah, there's somebody, you guys. Feels like someone from the past here. Someone needs to to let go of. Uh, what do we have here for Pisces? Last message, please. Pretty please. I'm excited to get into the, well, your extended reading, but I'm excited to look at love in particular. Because that seems to be woven very nicely through this reading. For Pisces, please. Like my brain is just, <laughs> I keep wanting to say Aries. I don't, I mean, the emperor is Aries. Maybe this person was an Aries. Maybe this is the Aries, the Mars energy in your own chart. Anger, passion, passion turned into anger. This vacillation between the two. Mm, mm, okay. So <laughs> there's a request here to turn that anger back into passion or to allow it to turn back into passion. Whatever was connected to the Ten of Swords pain here, you need that passion to finish up this creative, fertile project. Don't let it die there, okay? Dominance is what came through. Wow, wow, wow. There's that abuse of power. So this could be somebody to you, dominating, controlling action, or it could be you to someone else or you towards yourself even. I'm brought back to the Queen of Wands here. This is this confidence, this authenticity comes from allowing yourself to be the weird badass that you are, okay? Not judging that, not trying to dominate those components of yourself that you feel others don't want to see or that you don't want to experience yourself. Do not forsake yourself. Okay. All right, Pisces, I love you guys. I am going to move into the extended here. So I hope that this message is helpful for you. Um, if you are interested in the extended, like I said, links are in the description. I do have them for sale individually as well as on the third tier of membership if you want access to all of them. Personal readings are open and available, like I said. If you do have something more personal or particular you'd like some help with, I'd love to help you guys out. And if this reading did resonate with you guys, please consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Hit that notification bell. They're all great ways to support me in the growth of this channel, and I truly appreciate it, you guys. I couldn't do this without you, and you are the reason why I do this. So thank you, thank you. If this reading did resonate with you and you feel called to tip or donate, I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description too. It's not mandatory, but to those who do support the channel in that way, thank you guys truly from the bottom of my heart. It goes a long way. And again, I couldn't do this without you. So Pisces, please take care of yourselves and I'll see you all very soon. Be well.